Hello everyone, no response here. Hope you're having a grand day. So in this video, I'm going to show you some outpost layouts as well as some little decoration tips you can utilize to make your outpost look a little bit more lived in and a little bit less player made. Uh, so this is going to be the first of a kind of a series of kind of actual active building videos where I kind of show you the steps that I do rather than just necessarily tours. Um, so look out for future vids. So first and foremost, we are on Mars just because I like building on Mars. Mars is fun. It's very pretty. Terrible for resources, but looks nice. Uh, one of the most important tips if you want somewhere that's a flat ground to build upon, and I mentioned this kind of in every video, but I'm going to reiterate it again, is that if you build on your ship's landing site, you get this perfectly flat area to start off and also it does have a higher chance of spawning race rare resources in this instance I have no rare resource but this is fine so let's just jump straight into it so I've kind of positioned myself right in the center so I put this on the edge and I've got myself on the other edge so I'm gonna build in this bit here uh, so this is my first I have a couple of little designs I like to use the first one I have shown you before, but I'm going to show you the steps. The second one is a little one, which I like the little one. One thing, and I will kind of mention, it is tempting to build, like, really huge outposts straight off the bat. I would generally avoid doing that, just because what's going to happen is you're going to end up... It's just big structures look ugly as hell, um, is the thing. Sometimes they're interesting if they, like, do something weird. But generally speaking, you want to make stuff a little bit more, just less awful. Um, no, just smaller. Basically, make, think of what rooms you're actually using. This was the thing in pretty much any game that allows you to build, is if you kind of go too big, it just, just generally doesn't look very good. Oh, I always wish I could put one there. So one of the biggest tips, and I'm going to scream this to the hills for this game, is don't sleep on these storage containers. They are awesome for just adding a little bit of depth to your structures. As you can see what I've done, before I even start kind of building the uh, uh, the kind of, what's it, the air locker things. What are they called? Oh, air locks. Air locker, for fuck's sake. For the air locks is I like to make sure I put some... Uh, storage containers on the exterior just so I can kind of build around them because they're easy to do now this is gonna always be the wrong way so what I'm doing right now I did show this in my last video uh, but I'm showing you how to kind of snap things close basically a big problem with Starfield as many of you will notice is that stupid fucking thing that fuck off uh, which is where stuff is a little bit over eager on its snapping so what I'm doing is I'm snapping these towards where I want to be going. This just enables me to kind of put the... Jesus Christ, it's extra... It's extra excitable today. Um, this enables me to put the stuff nearby where I want to be going, but without actually having to... Where's the water one? Ah, uh, lele. Gorgeous. Uh, but without actually having to snap them all together. See, that just adds a little bit more depth to that already. So, next. This is the first. I'm going to do two little designs. Wow, little-ish. This is my corner more mid one. This is the one I like using quite a lot. And naturally, my character is always in the way. Always in the way of my hopes and dreams. I finally got to the point, mostly, where I don't um, keep pressing the wrong buttons for building. And instead, press the Starfield buttons as opposed to the Fallout 4 buttons. So what I'm going to do is that. That's, ooh, it might be level, actually. It needs to be a little bit more. I'm actually going to probably do a thing and put it a bit more this way. Eh, that'll do. So I could do is do something like that where I'm going to snapping another cut um hab onto the side. Um, maybe I will. I like the idea of having these two tiers. Um, let's do that. I don't normally do that. Let's mix things up. One thing I want to do is I want to show you how these windows work. Because I didn't realize just how many windows this one has. It has three different... Ah, let I go off. Uh, three different kinds of windows. And I quite like the fact that they've put this effort in. Right, um, and then I'm gonna 
maybe put some stuff on the side. So my big thing for like starting out posts is to just, as I said, just really hem these crates in there because they're one of your better forms of decoration. That's repetition because I've done that exact layout before. Also, avoid repetition. This is a an adage from the days of of Fallout 4, but just try and inv avoid kind of putting the same bics next to each other all the time. So that way when someone looks at this, it's kind of broken up and looks a little bit more organic. That's, I guess, the, uh, kind of the main thing we're going for here is you want things to look organic. Yeah, the problem with player-made stuff is it looks overtly player-made and we don't like overtly player-made things. Not in this house. All right, let's put those here. I love these crates so much. Obviously, I do want more actual building elements, but in a pinch, we can put quite a lot of shenanigans just by using these bits as kind of adding an extra bit of life to things. I'm also blocking the windows up, to be fair. Window schmindos, right? So already you can see that's looking a little bit busier, a little bit nicer. And we're going to add some bits on the top. Um, I love the scan booster. Uh, have I really ever used it? No! It seems way too res- I mean, it says resource intensive. Looking at it, it's not really. But actually just the actor building one does seem a little bit of a, a ball ache really, doesn't it? I'm not really going to be walking for 30, 40 minutes. So one of my little... Little, little pit or pet hates with this. You see these things? Sometimes you can build these. And sometimes you can't build these. Maybe if I can build this one. It has a little bit of a hissy with if you can build those on structures or not. Ah, oh, look at that. So sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. Just kind of bear that in mind that, you know, one morning you'll be able to put a solar dome on the top of a structure. And another morning you can't. Right, so now I always like my four little wind turn my t turnbines, turbines on the outside. Now what we're doing here, and this 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 layout, and what I do is I just generally just mess around with the actual outpost structure. I just sort of make up a little thing in the center. This little layout is my kind of go-to. Um, so I've got 24 power. I might add a big one here just for the sake of breaking up the eye a little bit. I'm going to resist the urge to do any furniture decoration because that is an entire video in itself and it'll like triple the length of the video. Um, and to be honest, you don't need to see me placing down tables and chairs. But ostensibly what I like to do is I like to put benches and kind of other big crates near these and just kind of effectively decorate around the windmills. If you've watched my um, early outpost video, I kind of go into that quite a lot and it's just so good. Because what you end up doing is that placing these on their own, they look a little bit spindly. But even now, when I just put like one crate next to them, it just makes them pop. And if you add like some tables, some workbenches around each one, it just makes them look a little bit more organic. And a little bit more cheap and, cheer cheap and cheerful. I don't know if you can hear someone's car outside. But there was a big bassy noise, that was someone's car. If we put this here like this. Let me just pop it in the front there like that. Look at that! See? Look at that! So all I've gone and done is I've placed some little, uh, little boxes, roundabouts, um, put some wimbles on the side, and I've just kind of played around with the actual sight lines and already without any real decoration outside of bigger structural elements this already looks lived in this already kind of feels a little bit less overtly player made obviously the actual really decor and like when you're actually on the floor like this you can kind of notice it a bit more that you know it is really 
kind of a little bit naked, but the, the framework is there. So I just want to show you one a little structure which I played around with, which uses kind of the same methodology, just, just demonstrates the different styles. And also, it helps with this kind of layout. So let's pretend that this is my main outpost. Earlier, I actually made just a little place for me to sleep. And I was like, I really like that little structure, it's quite cute. So I made a little house. And I kind of like the idea of having, I'm going to put it over here, like a little bit of a, a structure which is, oh, it's outside the build area. I think it was down here, it was here. Kind of a little structure that's just kind of a ways. And it kind of thematically works quite well. You've got this main area here, and then you've got this little structure over here that maybe is a, a shed, maybe it stores resources, it can do millions of different things. Can I put a set big one on the top? I can't, it's fine, because what we're going to do... Can I put a second scanner on? I totally can. We'll put the little one on, on the top. You know, thematically I can say this is a little research area or something that kind of needs, for whatever reason, needs to be away from the main, main area. Oh, I love those little satellite dishes. I don't use them for anything, but they look nice. Ah, oh, fucking hate when it does that. <laughs> I bloody hate when it does that. So I'm curious what that is, is when um, it's, it's when it snaps into somewhere which is a little bit too low for it. I'll just put this one instead. So like this one will probably be fine if it snaps there, but it wouldn't snap in the front. So in case you're wondering what that is, that's what that is. See, little structures. Uh. Ah, no. uh, well, brain's not working. And let's add something on the side. Oh, let's add some manufacturing. Am I ever going to use this manufacturing? No. Does it look cool? Yes. And that's all I actually ever care about. Let's have another fabricator over here then. It's basically just adding gubbins in. I'm going to lie a little bit, because I said I wouldn't place any boxes, but this one sort of does need some big crates near it. I went completely past the crate I wanted. The Bethesda predisposition to putting everything on foundations annoys me till the end of time, but I'll forgive them just because occasionally it does sort of look nice, but not in this instance. Pop a little table here, just because I can't have this area without some kind of structural elements that's going to annoy me. <laughs> Alright, okay, cool. So you see, from a fight line, from up here, that looks really, really nice. And the way it blends in with this area. And the reason why this looks obviously really good from a distance, then when I get up close, it maybe needs a little bit of work, is because obviously... I'm seeing the big picture rather than the minute, um, the minute details. The minute details come in the actual decorative bit. So basically adding my go-to, and I won't kind of show you extensively because I have shown you in previous videos, but putting utility carts, little bits, but that's more of a time-consuming process. So this is the framework. This is the layout. So yeah, I hope that gave you guys a few ideas. The kind of go-to is think about layers. Yeah, you want to add tiers to the height of your structure because it draws the site in. And then you want to kind of bulk things out with bigger pieces that kind of add... It's like adding texture to walls, right? It's like, you know, it's like hanging a picture up, right? Th these are pictures that I'm hanging on, you know, blank walls. And also try to avoid overt symmetry uh, because if things look... If you repeat the texture too much, it tends to jar the viewer and it tends to look quite worth quite weird. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. I will have more videos in this series coming up soon. I'll follow me on TikTok as well because I have started posting TikToks. I posted a video of my ship Arvac the other day uh, for your enjoyment as well as a tour of my first Mars outpost. I will be posting more videos throughout the week so you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll speak to you soon. You take care.